Hey Matt, what are we doing this morning, man? We are going to adjust our transmission bands. Our brake, when we went on our last car show ride, as you can see, it's pretty worn down. So we're gonna take this transmission cover off and see where we're at and what's going on inside there and adjust them as needed. All right, we're gonna take these six bolts off, which prior to the video, I loosened up. So don't judge me. make a screen filter that goes in here and down here is a, is a little screen and clears all that you put a magnet in it and it picks up any of the metal or fuzz coming from the bands and keeps it from getting I don't have one and they it didn't come with the cars when you bought them back in the day but you could buy them aftermarket so that's where we are so we have good we have plenty of room for adjustment in here if you see the difference here's the here's the bands here that wrap around and when you push the pedal We'll go with the clutch first of the pedal. When you push the pedal, you can see how it squeezes it together like that. And we've got a good amount of distance there so we can adjust that. And our brake is, oh, I can stick my finger in there so we've got plenty. So, so the brake is backed off. Very cool. Yeah. So why are we adjusting the brake this way rather than on the tires? Uh, there is no brakes on the tires. It's This is the only brake quote unquote that you have and it literally is just a transmission brake and slows the motor down uh, which which bring you to a stop it has a brake in the rear but it's a parking brake and worst case scenario you can pull that if you're in a jam but then you're sliding the back tires and creating chaos so it looks like just the clutch is um adjustable from the outside there right yep this one here that's so you don't have to take the transmission plate off to adjust the clutch um it's good if the first couple times you're doing it so you can see what you're doing but after you get a feel for it, you can go but that's how it was designed, so you could adjust it easy because the clutch is the one that's used the most. It's, we use that on every takeoff and, and drive, so that's the one that needs the adjustment. All right, we are going to use our original Ford wrench mm -hmm. to adjust Fancy. the nut on the end of our brake band. As you can see, we have way too much room there. Yep. And when you adjust them, you want to adjust them. You don't want to adjust them tight. It's going to create drag. So you don't want it dragging the whole time. It'll get more wear on your bands, and obviously it'll slow the motor down, and burn all kinds of stuff. We don't want to do that. So you want to adjust it just about to where it's touching. Okay. So that's a good distance we've got to come. What are the bands made out of? They are made out of Kevlar and some other stuff I don't remember. And I haven't replaced these bands but I'm sure it's been replaced in its lifetime on this car since it was a driver from New York City. Definitely felt loose driving it around yeah, and see why. Sure. Wow. There we go. Get there. So still got some distance there, but Down on the brake or anything? Mm -hmm. 
that's the wash. Okay, that's your We're doing it. So, when we're adjusting this, I'm going to check the pedal play, as I say that, and also, there's a little notch in the nut and in that washer that, that fits in and keeps that pressure. So, we talked about the gap here. And this band goes all the way around. So it's going to be almost touching here. And then as it goes around progressively, it gets looser. So this is going to be the highest side that you have. So if you have it, if it's not touching perfectly there, that's all right. Another thing that we discovered is if it, oh, that feels good. If it is grabbing, you can just rock the car, put it into the neutral, roll the car and see how easily it rolls. It should be able to roll pretty easily. We're kind of going uphill. Just roll. Yep. What are we testing again, Matt? So we're testing the brake to make sure that we're not over tightened and holding the motor, keeping it from, keeping the transmission from spinning. Um, and we backed this band off just a little bit. We had a little bit too tight the first go around. So brake looks good. Yep. Next, we're going to do our clutch, our low gear, which is this pedal here. That's the one that we can adjust from the outside, the one that needs the adjustment the most. Um, this fantastic tool here, again, original, period specific. It fits this nut. So what you want to do is you want to get a get a wrench, which I may have the size for over here. I'm gonna put a wrench on the end and hold it still. And then get onto your nut and back that off. Again, I pre-loosened these prior to the video. All right, and you'll give this a turn. I go about a quarter of a turn at a time. I've seen some people do half. Just like the brakes, you can see when you push the pedal, it clamps that band that's around, and underneath that band is, are those bands or brake pads that engage and grab. Yeah, physically slow the spin of the engine. Cool. It engages that, that gear. That wow. How's our uh, cover looking, Matt? Looking good. Just making sure we don't have any debris on the gasket before I put it back together. She looks good. Line her up right there. Get 
Keep in mind there's no torque specs. Well, there, there weren't torque specs back in the year. But these are made. So tighten them down. You want them tight, obviously, because it rattles and you don't want any leaks. But after you get it tight, you give it a run. And if we need to tighten it down more, we do. Hey, Matt, why are they all uh, flatheads? Phillips said screw wasn't invented yet, Wayne. <laughs> look it up, people. That's right, look it up. <clears throat> there we go. Right. Well, in the process, when we got this car and looking it up, there's the VIN, which is pretty much the same place in most of the T's passenger side, just right behind the firewall. That's the VIN number of the car there, of the chassis itself. Okay. Let's find the VIN number on the block. That's it. Right there above the water jacket coming up the block. Too cool. All right, Matt, what's the plan? We are going to test the brakes. Going down the hill. <laughs> Stopping. <laughs> 